Be positive about your safety program and the way it helps to protect and value your good people. On this episode, four ways to promote your safety program positively. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. Promote. Scary word for safety people and supervisors. For the ones who don't understand what it means, it feels disingenuous. But to promote something is to advance a cause or a program, to support it or to actively encourage. So when you tell your people to be safe, you're promoting safety. When you pepper your workplace with posters and safety reminders, you're promoting safety. When you hold a safety meeting, you're promoting safety. When you recognize good behaviors, you're promoting safety. And in order to build a solid safety culture, you can't do it without promoting safety. But how do you ensure that you're doing it positively in a way that doesn't undermine the safety program? Well, here are four key areas to promote your safety program and employee safety and make sure that you're doing it in a positive way. Number one, connect with your good people in a meaningful way. Look, if you want to improve employee commitment to safety and increase employee engagement, I'm going to suggest something radical. Look up from your phone and come out from behind your desk. Look, make eye contact and ask an employee directly about how they're doing today. It's a radical idea, isn't it? Yeah, well, look, we all have work to do, we get that, but the moment that you take with an employee sends a positive message of caring and value. When you engage employees one-on-one -on, -one on a personal level, they feel like you care about them and value their contributions. Look, when that happens, employee commitment and engagement increases. So do it. Do it on purpose. Do it intentionally. Connect with your people. Ask the energetic and engaged employees to help you solve an issue or find a new solution to a recurring problem. If you want them to be great team members, connect with them, include them, and engage them. Engaged employees perform better, specifically in safety. So the number one way to promote safety in a positive way is to connect with your people in a meaningful way. Then. Once you've connected with them, it's time to look at the second way to promote safety, positively, by the way. It's in the way that you empathize with them. How do you get to the point where you articulate safety in a way that aligns with and resonates with employees? You put yourself in their shoes. Pay attention to the things that you respond to positively. Pay attention to those things that annoy you, or those things that feel burdensome. Notice them all and make a mental note each time it happens to you. Then, think about how employees, your good people, probably feel the same way. If you can't empathize with your people, you'll have a hard time connecting with them. Feel what they feel, notice what they notice, hear what they hear. Adjust your management style or supervisory style to connect better. Before people will buy into the safety program, they'll first buy into the safety person. People want to feel that you get them and can relate to their issues. Once that's done, they will let you help them. Second way to promote safety positively, by the way you empathize with your employees. Now once you've found a way to see what they see and feel what they feel, you're going to be much better prepared to get to the third way to promote safety positively, sell the benefits of safety. Now, what does selling the benefits of safety mean? Well. When you do safety well, there are benefits that employees experience. Better teamwork, lower stress, feeling more productive, more job satisfaction, opportunities to advance, personal value, self-respect, sense of accomplishment, shared success, positive morale, motivation to be better, feeling that the work matters. These are all benefits to the employee. These are what separate their current work today from the lousy workplaces they may have had in the past. See, when companies go looking for new employees, they don't promote rules and procedures or paperwork and LTIs. They sell the benefits of working there. A great workplace attracts great employees. A great safety program delivers benefits for the participants. Focus on the benefits of doing safety well as the end result. Use the rules and process, procedure, paperwork, and reporting as a way to get great results and achieve the benefits. Third way to promote safety positively is to sell the benefits of safety. Then the fourth way is perhaps the toughest. 
keep it positive. That means getting rid of the guilting your employees into paying more attention to safety. Enough of there's a, there's a family waiting for you at home. Enough of the gruesome photos and gut-wrenching videos of people being hurt at work. Enough of the don't-do-what-I-did injury stories. These are all ploys and manipulation to try to get you to avoid a loss. Look, avoiding a loss is not the same as getting a win. Especially if you feel a churn in your guts. Safety is not supposed to make you scared or manipulate your compliance. Safety is supposed to make you confident in making good choices. Safety should make you feel proud of where you work. Employees want to feel proud of where they work. And they want their employer to feel proud of the contribution employees make. So be positive about your people. Be positive about your safety program and the way it helps to protect and value the good people that you've chosen to be a part of this organization. Keep the discussions focused on moving things forward and less about being focused on the mistakes made yesterday. Learn from the mistakes, yeah, but move on, move up, move forward. Don't relive the whole experience over and over again. Find a win in safety and build on it. Rally your team around getting more safety wins instead of avoiding losses. See, there's a different mindset between playing to win and playing to avoid a loss. I mean, ask any sports team. Engage your people to find positive ways to celebrate their safety successes. Keep them focused on achieving success. When you're focused on safety success, the voices of dissent can't find an audience in a positive workplace. So keep building positive momentum. The fourth way to build your safety program is to keep it positive. So let's review the four ways to promote safety. One, connect with your people in a meaningful way. Empathize with them. Pay attention to what they see, hear, and feel. Sell the benefits of safety and keep it all positive. So here's a way to start. Ask yourself, what does safety do for me? It's a question you should be asking yourself constantly. It helps you to view safety from the eyes of the employees, the very people that you want to have safe days at work. When employees understand safety's value and what they get from doing it right, they're more likely to buy in. That shifts your culture in a positive way. Connect, empathize, sell the benefits, and keep it all positive.